Pozzi. Got into a dollar eighty-five is now a dollar ninety. Looks fairly relaxed with the circling motion. They're about to line up. Here we go. Third time lucky. Set. I think Michelangelo's the one causing the problems here. Straightens up. They're set. Away. Oh, Avros Don missed the kick off the front. Great fantasy began the best and is holding out the challenge of Arnietta was happy to pop behind it, behind those petite love. Then in turn around the outside, meet Michelangelo. Ghent got past two of them. Cabello King and Avros Don, well, he begins very fast off a handicap, but off the front, he had no idea what to do and he's out the back and galloping. So the heavily back favourite out in front, Great Fantasy, the late male, leads the way out in front by five metres. Arnie Ethel second, and the leader looks nice and comfortable for Michael Smith in the race, and the prelim got a little bit keen, but he's looking good at this stage. In third place in Petit La, behind those was meet Michelangelo, then we have Ghent, Cabello King's about seven metres away, he'll tack on shortly, but Avros Don won't tack on because he blew at the start. Not going quick in front. Great fantasy is getting a pretty cushy run. No pressure. So much so, Cabello King's coming one off from the tail end of the field to get past Ghent and moving up on the outside to meet Michelangelo to get closer to this leader with a slow tempo. Lead time, 52.4. Great fantasy by a full sulky's length. Artie Ethel getting the run that she likes just behind the speed. And on the outside, Cabello King now gets within three metres of the leader. Petite Love stayed on the inside. So three back the inside, driven for luck. On the outside, was Ghent. Then in turn behind those was Meet Michelangelo and Avros Don is 120 metres behind those, nearly 150. Lead time confirmed is 52.4 and the first quarter 32.8. So Great Fantasy's had a very good run out in front. The heavily back conveyance leads by a head. In second place in Cabello King. On the inside is Artie Ethel. One out, one back Ghent. He's getting a good run in transit. On the inside, three back was Petite Love. And last of the group was Meet Michelangelo and still that long distance away to Avros Don. Coming to the judge with a circuit to go. Petite Love went roughly on the inside. Three back there. Nearly dipped or nearly galloped there for a stride. But he's balanced her up okay, Rohorik. But Great Fantasy, the one to beat. Leads away, still by three metres. On the outside, Cabello King. Second quarter picked up the 30.4. 63-2 for the first half. On the inside, Artie Ethel. She'll enjoy that run behind the leader and follows the well-supported runner as Smith starts to ask the leader for a bit more. Cabello King sticking with him. The hood's been pulled, but he's sticking with him and he's only a head away. On the inside, Artie Ethel behind those. Ghent struggling. Right, it goes between runners now a petite love. Great uh, Fantasy in front being worked on. On. Cabello King on the outside. Petite Love gets right on its back. Ready to come three wide up the straight. On the inside, Arnie Ethel's waiting for the sprint lane. He has to go for Great Fantasy. And he leads by a head. 30.1 the third quarter. On the outside, Cabello King. Petite Love wobbled a little bit wide. Arnie Ethel getting up on the inside. Four way go. Out wide, Petite Love. Cabello King still there. Great Fantasy. Here's the finish line. Oh, Petite Love, I think, poked the nose in front. I think there's a little mark. Margin for Petite Love just in front of Cabello King. Third great fantasy, fourth place, Yardi Ethel. Behind those, we had Meet Michelangelo. Then we had Ghent. And the length of the straightaway after making that mistake was Avros Don.